So, Tommy, at your point in your career, you've got yourself a pretty handsome collection of tools. Well, I'm always looking for one or two more. <laughs> I know you are. But let's say someone's just getting into woodworking. Have you got mm -hmm. a list of, say, five or ten items that you think they should have? Well, I think they should have things like this. A combination square, a hammer, a level for hanging the pictures and stuff like that, or even a little miter box for doing a little bit of trim work. Mm -hmm. Now this, probably everybody would want, is a battery-operated drill that they can use as a screwdriver or a drill driver also. So the only power tool in the list so far, but this is one you're going to get a lot of use out of. Sure. What sort of projects do you think people are doing with just this little basic list here? Minor home repairs, like I said, even hanging a picture or be, maybe building a birdhouse. Okay. And so if I want to graduate from building a birdhouse with my kids, let's say building a picnic table for the back deck? All right. So now you're stepping it up with a lot of effort because you're building with heavier lumber. Right. So this is where you want to get into a circular saw. Okay. Make those cross cuts or even rip something down that's long. This will do it. So on the job site to make rip cuts, you're using a table saw to make cross cuts or miters using a chop uh, miter saw, power mm -hmm. one. You're saying I can do that with this circular saw? Absolutely. We do a lot on the job site with this. Straight edges to guide the saw, to make uh, it straight. Circular saw will come in handy. All right. So a couple attachments. And you're right. suggesting a jigsaw too? A jigsaw. Now you see a coping saw like this for doing fine little tuning around windows or where Wherever a cope around a little tight spot, you you can step it up and speed up the whole job with a jigsaw. Okay, and then a couple hand tools to get you out of trouble. Well, you have, you always need a third hand, and clamps are always good for holding something while you're using that circular saw or putting uh, want to glue some boards together. This will really work fine. And never have enough clamps. Right, and a little plane like this is great for smoothing up an edge of a board, mm -hmm. and a palm sander, fantastic for finishing the surface. All right, sounds like a pretty good list. Thank you. Thank you.